how to make changes on uh, on customer master records so that transaction is xt99 so we go here and suppose uh, we will see what changes we can do so suppose i want to change uh, some terms of customer master so i go to z term okay and here i'll execute and uh, let me go to the table for terms uh, so se16 and we'll go here and we will change we'll go to key in v1 okay and here we'll put customer and we'll get some customer records from here and we'll bring in some value which you are going to change so this is so we'll change first so one important thing if you see we cannot change the primary key that's basic okay you cannot change the company code and all those things okay so z term we are going to change let's change let's see what more i can change the probably the account memo will change okay and uh, anything else the account memo will change so this is the account memo and let's see which more we can change we'll probably change the payment uh, no not this one we'll change the there's any block free we can play with so we'll show you three fields that we are going to change so here is the block field delivery block let's see mm. the delivery block or we'll change yes that's, that's the three fields we change so these are the fields that is there okay now what we are going to do suppose with all these ones we are going to change it to suppose 004 so this is my customer i'll populate here okay so i populate it here and i execute now and here i'll make it 0, 0, 0, 001 times. and i'll hit perform must change and i'll click on save now it's spinning it's saving so in the meantime i can go here and i'll just select all those customers that we are dealing with okay so that we didn't get confused now here if you see all these things have changed already 001 it's changing everything will change soon okay so click all this so these two didn't change for some reason. Okay, 5061, 5062. Okay. So these two didn't change. Okay, now what we can do is we go to suppose the account memo. Okay, so let's go to the account memo. So now we go back, hit the back button completely, and here we will select I think it was some um, from yeah account memo we'll click on execute and we'll select customer we'll populate this value and we'll execute there's no custom account memo so we'll put abc suppose and we'll make this populated with abc and we'll save it now it's spinning so let's see whether there is any account memo that's getting populated you see abc so instead, you, if you have to do this in s hana you have to do it through BP. It's, it's at least 12, 15 clicks, 20 clicks per transaction. And you have to save, but from here you can do it at one go. So this is very helpful when you are going to change the value for a single particular value. So this is very helpful. So if you see everything is done, now we'll do the company code delivery block field. So now what we can go, we're trying to find that field here so what we have to do is we go back completely now we select block and here is the field and then we'll put our uh, customer list okay and we'll execute we'll click here and here if you see 
the account memo was already selected so what we can do we'll, we can do multiple here now so you will see we'll make it df everything and we'll do mass change so it will become this and we'll save it now once we save it we'll see what happens okay so it's saving you see this is already changed to def so now if you see all these things are changing so it's changed so this is the accounting data we are changing the company code data and if you see everything is changed now so so this is what we did now we are going to go and try to find some other table that we are going to do so we will do kn1 kn f1 probably kn f e1 kn Kn B one. Uh, what is the other one? Kn Kn M, right? Kn M one. Okay, that is the purchasing. Oh, oops, close this. Let's see, we'll go here. We'll find the field from here somewhere, which we want to change. Okay, so over here. We'll again go to XD99 and suppose I want to scroll down and see some other things. Suppose okay, B1 changed, gain BV. Suppose we will put, we'll change the input. Okay, KNVV. So we'll go to this table KNVV. In code terms, this is for freight, freight, like your shipping conditions and all those things, how you are going to ship it through trucks and all those things. So those are very important. So here we'll put the customers and we'll put um, settings, format cheese, choose field, and we'll unselect here. We'll select um, what is this? Info. So this is the one I'll change in go and I'll put Kunash. This is customer number. Okay, these are German. So now we'll just execute and here you see these are the input terms. Okay. So now you might say you have multiple values because this is based on sales organization. So what what we are going to do is now we're going to execute this and we'll populate the customer here and we'll We'll just execute and we'll see how many records get so you you can see there are so many records now here we'll get an info term probably something we'll select suppose cost and freight okay and and we'll select this and we'll click on this and we'll try to save it and we'll see whether it saves or not so it's spinning faster so we'll see whether it saves or not nothing is saved yet okay so see here I have errors so so the input term was not a good thing to select let's select something else so we'll uncheck this let's select sell something currency okay so let's see oh here I have a term so let's select this C term. so we'll execute here and we'll bring the terms here so we'll bring the terms terms Control F, turn, and we have the payment terms. So now we go here, we'll put a payment term here, we'll populate the customer, we'll execute, spinning. So now we we'll just populate a term uh, 0, 0, 0, 7, I think. Let's select whether it gets changed so it's spinning 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 oh this also have see this is having sales area this is some problem so let's select some other field that we can play with so probably a block or something that would be there so these are config items that is not maintained so we'll put a block somewhere select with block there is something 
let's type sorry blocpay now we are going to find something in this any other stuff so sales block probably this one cassd so we'll go here settings cassd so let's see and control f cassd so we'll select this bring it in apply now you go here you go to sales block you click on here and you give the the customers here you execute and we select uh, suppose x i don't know whether this will select uh, probably it will give errors also yes mandatory partner function is missing oh, so let's see which field we can change here because we have been trying to change something and it's not happening so let's change the currency usd mm. yeah so that's the better thing so let's go let's hit the back button we'll go half completely and we'll go up probably currency currency This is not the one we want the other one okay and maybe this one so let's see whether this now changes so we'll put our currency as um INR or we'll put as C U Euro let's see so let's put E R so now we we'll change it save it and in the meantime, we'll bring it here. Currency was here somewhere. WERS. Okay. Let's find it. CURA currency. There it is. This also fit because there's uh, something something is wrong so but but you can change it so this shows that you can validate uh, it's all doing the validation so xk xt99 will be used to mass update customer uh, through a bunch of transaction through a bunch of um, bunch of data you can see so these are the stuffs you can update through so you will see all these tables you can update in mass so this is very useful and you should always use it and keep it handy with you because there would be cases where you have to update stuffs. Uh, th that's it. Thanks for uh, checking this video and stay tuned to my channel to learn SAP. Thank you and have a great day.